Hello you guys, welcome to another vlog or as I'm calling it now, my cozy diaries. I wanted to start calling them that. I think it's a really cute creative name for my weekly vlogs. I've definitely taken some inspiration from other YouTubers who've been vlogging a lot this year and last year. One in particular that I remember is called The Living Alone Diaries or something like that. I saw that name and I was like, hmm. I kind of want to incorporate it into my vlogs, but I'm not living alone. I live with my husband and a dog, so technically I can't call it that. So I wanted to figure out a name that was appropriate for my channel and my weekly vlogs. I'm just happy to call it something a little bit more personal and that is more aligned with the vibes of my channel. With that said, Welcome to another weekly vlog slash cozy diaries and today is Tuesday. I usually don't start vlogging for the week until we get closer to the weekend just because Charlie and I really don't do much on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. It's usually just work 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 for us. But this week I'm getting a head start because I thought that I would start filming my Poshmark <laughs> journey. I've been trying to declutter and sell more of my items on Poshmark this year because I've had pretty good luck with selling on Poshmark before. I've actually sold a few items recently too. It's a really neat way to make money and fund something else with it as well as give the item that you're not currently loving a second chance, a second home for someone else to love and I just think that is a great idea. So I've been on Poshmark a lot more. I am trying to take selling into my own hands because ThreadUp gives you like pennies for your things, which makes sense because they do all the work for you. I really like utilizing ThreadUp when I don't have the time or energy to post all of my own items on Poshmark, just like when I wanna do massive, massive declutters. But for one or two things, I do like to upkeep my Poshmark closet so those items can get a loving home. I've been watching Emma Hill. I think that is her name. I recently discovered her YouTube channel and she does a lot of like Depop reselling her things and she gives a lot of tips and tricks on her YouTube channel. So I have been watching her YouTube videos, trying to take notes on how to sell my items. With all that said, I will link all the websites, YouTubers and my Poshmark closet in the description so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you please. I am watching her video right now and she is just such a funny and like charismatic person. I can't believe I didn't know about her until now because she does a lot of fashion videos which is very close to my interest obviously. It really aligns well with what I do on my channel so I'm surprised that YouTube homepage didn't recommend her videos to me before, so kind of funny. I'm currently watching her video. It's called Get More Money for the Items You Sell Online. So I am on my Poshmark right now, and this is one of the coats that I'm trying to sell. I am definitely incorporating her tips and tricks into practice right now onto my Poshmark because a lot of the advice that she gives actually makes sense and I'm trying to make sure that my Poshmark is as like accurate and visually pleasing as possible. It takes a lot of time and energy you guys like that's why I usually just do thread up but I'm really gonna try my best to resell my clothes myself. I will be doing like announcements here on my channel and Instagram here and there when I launch new products on there. With that said, I'm gonna start taking some photos cause I got a long way to go, baby. It is right here. The This is my bin full of things that I need to resell. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just got so dark outside because it is now 5.30 PM. I've been working on my Poshmark closet for like three hours. I need to take a break because this is just a lot of work, but I was able to upload all of my lips, lipsticks, listings, <laughs> 
to my Poshmark closet so it is up now so if you could take a look and see if you want anything that'll be great that would really help me out clear out my closet and hopefully give these items a better home I added a bunch of really great high quality photos that show me wearing everything as well as product lay photos because those just kind of show the details a little bit better I'm just glad that I got that done though because I have been procrastinating on my Poshmark closet for a while and things have been just piling up. However, if these items don't sell within a couple months, I will probably end up getting rid of them through ThreadUp or donating them because I just cannot have these items laying around in my house forever until they sell. So I'm just gonna get them out of my hands that way, maybe within a couple months or so. As I add more items, I will definitely announce them on my YouTube so you guys can check it out if you are interested in my clothing. This is what my Poshmark closet looks like so far. Basically the same layout as my YouTube channel. I have my profile picture and Ever So Cozy on here. And these are some of the outerwear that I am selling. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break now and see what Charlie is up to. We should probably figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. <laughs> Hello, you guys. It is Wednesday, January 13th. I had to look at my computer for that because what are dates these days? Same as 2020, obviously. But today is going to be another working day, so I'm sorry there's not a lot of fun footage to share with you guys today either. Today I have some orders to fulfill for my Etsy shop and then I am going to film another video for you guys. I took so many notes on my Curology review video that's coming up. I'm planning on uploading it on Wednesday. So you guys are seeing this video on Monday. And then in two days, you guys will see the Curology review video. I'm so excited to film that. I did a lot of prep work. So this was what I was doing last night after Charlie and I ate dinner. I'm gonna film this and then I'm gonna plan out another outfit lookbook video because I have been wanting to film more styling videos and lookbooks and outfit ideas videos because first of all they're one of my favorite videos to film not gonna lie I love playing dress up and it allows me to utilize my closet in the quarantine COVID-19 situation. Also, I have been trying to get a little bit more creative with the things that I already own. I have been watching and educating myself so much through Hailey Estrada's videos lately on fast fashion and sustainability and the impact that fast fashion has on the environment. Just the lack of ethics there is in fast fashion. It's just been a whirlwind of information for me, so I am still trying to register all the information that I have been watching and learning from her and from other, you know, big YouTubers that are big on sustainability and ethics and fashion. So definitely we'll be doing kind of like a reflections video alongside my, you know, 2021 resolutions type video because I still haven't filmed that yet. I've been kind of holding that off because there's just so many things going up here that it's really hard for me to organize my thoughts. There's just so many things that I want to tell you guys and talk to you guys about and get your feedback and input regarding just everything. My life, my channel. Yeah, it's just a lot. Even when I think about it, it just kind of overwhelms me and gives me a little bit of an anxiety. I need to properly like mentally and emotionally <laughs> Uh, prepare myself for that video. That video will eventually go up. It's just the matter of time. I have my coffee here with me. I'm just drinking it black with a little bit of oat milk today. Man, I have a coffee addiction. So yeah, I've been just watching tons and tons of fashion related videos and realizing that I have been doing so many things wrong and just reflecting so much and <laughs> trying to register everything. I mean, it's just, it's a freaking rabbit hole guys. Once you open the gates, you can't stop. <laughs> So considering everything that I have learned so far, I am trying to make small changes that I 
am capable of taking baby steps towards the right direction. This is by no means saying that I'm gonna become like your zero waste YouTuber. <laughs> Cause that's just not realistic for me, obviously. However, I do want to set small goals for myself and just little tweaks in my day to day in order to be a better influence on the internet and as well as take responsibility and become a better, smarter shopper. With that said, I'm gonna just try my best to create videos and content for you guys. It's like fun, creative, just aesthetic, videos for you guys with the things that I already own and when I am doing hauls and things like that, I do want to slowly switch to more sustainable and ethical brands who are eco-friendly and treat people right. One of the small steps that I'm taking towards the right direction is downloading the app Good On You. If you guys don't have that app, it is it is eye-opening, guys. It's it's almost life-changing, I gotta say. This is the app right here. It says Good On You, and it has a black and white logo. I'm gonna click on that, and it has Miss Lovely uh, Emma Watson on the front page, which was very great branding choice. I love her so much. She's such an elegant woman. I wonder if she's like the spokesperson for Good On You or if she was the creator of the app. I'm not sure. I really don't know, but I love the app already. I've played around with it a little. Basically, they give you a lot of great brand suggestions who are higher on the rating scale for sustainability and ethics. Better for the environment, for animals, for humans, for all things such as that. You can actually search brands on here to find out their rating. And let me tell you guys, I am so guilty. <laughs> I am so incredibly guilty for feeding into fast fashion. I am gonna try to consciously make small changes to get away from fast fashion as much as possible. That doesn't mean that I'm going to set unrealistic goals for myself or a complete kind of 180 degree switch or anything like that because obviously sustainable brands usually are way more expensive not as wallet friendly to be honest so there are going to be times where i have to just buy something that is not one of those better brands however i'm gonna do the best that I can. I hope you guys are patient with me throughout this journey, but I am so excited and stoked for this change, for this positive change. I think this will also help me financially a lot because when I am shopping on fast fashion brands, I tend to overbuy and I tend to rebuy a lot of similar items because it's not the quality that I want and it's not the exact style that I am looking for. Sorry, there's a plane going overhead. I'm not sure if you can hear that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is such a chatty vlog, but I just had to word vomit in this vlog because it's just been a lot of learning this whole week. I mean, this whole, this month of January, guys, it's just been so, it's been an emotional roller coaster, not gonna lie. <laughs> I hope you guys are patient with me and I hope you guys get really excited for my future videos because there's going to be a lot of just fashion content that you guys can recreate at home with the things that you already own. Of course, hauls are always fun and I really love and enjoy watching hauls as well. However, mine are going to be a lot more selective now moving forward and i'm going to try my best to encourage you guys to utilize the things that you already own in your wardrobe instead of going out of your way to purchase the exact items that i own but i'm not perfect so please have grace <laughs> and patience during this transformation of mine finally i'm gonna get to my curology review video and i'll keep you guys updated <laughs> Trying to slow down You know I've always been wanting to change And you and I are feeling just right now 
Good evening, you guys. I am back and it is Friday, finally. I'm so happy to welcome the weekend. <laughs> Today we're having our friends Ashley and Zach over after dinner and we're probably just gonna be playing board games to be honest and just catching up and doing what we usually do when we have them over or when we go over to their place. Whenever we have them over, we just have like the best time because we just laugh about everything and we basically just hate life together and just complain about everything. So they are... <laughs> Our go-to friends when we want to just like have random conversations they're just like so fun to be around with so i'm excited for that probably gonna have some drinks gonna have my wine because i've been good this week and i haven't drank any wine i feel like also i wanted to come on here and show you guys something really exciting because i've been talking a lot in this vlog about trying to shop for more sustainable and ethical brands and speaking of that i purchased a new handbag and i am so over the moon about this bag you guys it is beautiful i wanted to do like a whole unboxing video to be honest but i couldn't wait and i opened the box <laughs> I'll just show it to you guys here on my vlog, but I got a new bag from Angela Roy. I came across this brand actually from a recommendation from one of you guys. So thank you so much for letting me know that this brand existed because I would have never found out about them. She has some gorgeous, gorgeous handbags and I am in love with their stuff. This brand is called Angela Roy and this is their dust bag that the handbag came in. I think it is one of the most beautiful bags I've ever owned. That's a bold statement, you know? But honestly, thank you so much for the person who recommended this brand because I am obsessed with their stuff now and they are a great, great brand. They are ethical. They produce their products in small batches. They use only vegan leather so they are animal cruelty free it is all around a really great brand so i am so happy to support a kind of like a smaller designer brand which is really exciting and i wanted to show you guys the beauty of her products oh my gosh are you guys ready i purchased the eloise satchel i think it's a satchel i've been wanting this type of black with gold hardware satchel slash crossbody bag for a really long time. I feel like I say that about everything, but I really have been searching for like the perfect black bag. And I just think this is so incredible. Look how cute. I love the length of this strap because it is so perfect to go underneath your arm like it doesn't go up high like this where it like shoves your armpit it is just like the perfect length for a satchel slash shoulder bag on top of that they also come with a longer crossbody strap it's in the dust bag right now because i think i'm going to use this with my shoulder strap more often so i just had this on instead of the crossbody strap i am obsessed you guys i mean the gold hardware is not that kind of like tacky brassy gold it's a very just nice kind of faded light gold which i love because i'm not a huge fan of that really shiny yellow gold it's subtle enough where it doesn't look too gold like in your face and just this pebbled leather look is stunning i mean the shape is this accordion style shape it has really great structure very roomy i mean it has a lot of space inside even though it looks like a tiny mini bag i keep looking at the viewfinder because i love looking at it so much and it is a magnetic closure everything about this bag is just crafted so incredibly well like everything has like these screws and fasteners and it's like all just so well designed and crafted i 
think it is just one of the most beautiful bags I've ever seen, to be honest. This looks so luxurious. I mean, the price isn't cheap. It is still an expensive bag. I think it is $2.55 or something around there, US dollars. But honestly, this looks like it could be one of those big designer brands. It really look it, it really looks so luxurious. It feels really like nice and weighted. It just feels expensive. It has like the accordion style, like I said, two bigger compartments here. There's a zipper at the very back and then like a little phone compartment here. Unfortunately, I have like a Pro Max iPhone, so it doesn't fit in here, but I wouldn't really wanna put my phone in there anyway because I don't wanna stretch out the back. I love this little red tag. It's a really cute touch for branding purposes. It has AR for Angela Roy. You guys don't even know how excited I am to wear this bag and post it on my Instagram because this is gonna look so good with all of my outfits, like let me tell you. I've been waiting for this moment to like show off a purse that I'm really happy about and this is it. <laughs> and it's vegan leather, which is so crazy. It really feels like real leather, but it's vegan and no animals were harmed in the process of making this product, which is great. I never felt like a vegan leather purse before in my life and honestly, it feels the same as normal leather. <laughs> I don't know how the wear is going to be, but it honestly feels really thick and nice where I'm not too concerned about the sustainability. Like, I feel like it's going to last me a lifetime, honestly. Highly, highly recommend. I will leave her link down below in the description as always, but I'm gonna, I'm so obsessed with this. I had to show you guys. Since we are on the topic of purses, I wanted to let you guys know an exciting video is coming up. It's going to be an unboxing video. I think it's going to be an unboxing slash review video that is in the works right now. So get excited for that. If you're into handbags and you know, accessories and stuff like that for fashion, I think I'm gonna try to get a little bit more work done before my friends come and I will keep you guys updated. Hello. Hi. What you making? Pho. Wow. Yeah. We're eating good tonight. Yes, we are. <laughs> is the broth in the yeah. Instapot? It is currently, uh, I'm letting the uh, all the steam out. <laughs> Behold. I'm here for the broth. Oh yeah. So what's in it? Um. Oh, it smells so good. It's mainly made with oxtail, a slice of brisket, and then some fish sauce and a bunch of herbs and spices. <laughs> nice. There's a lot to to list, so <laughs> I'm gonna save you the trouble. Oh, it smells really good. And then we're gonna put the broth in here with the noodles. Yes, yes. Wow. It's gonna be tasty. I love living with the chef, guys. Hello you guys, good morning. It's not even morning anymore, it's afternoon. <laughs> Sundays are usually one of the busiest days of the week for me for some reason. I end up doing a lot of chores on Sundays, it's kind of like a reset day. I feel like this whole week I've just been working a lot and it was a very chatty video or slash vlog. So I hope you guys don't mind that. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more action packed in the next Cozy Diaries, but this is just a very real week for me. <laughs> there are a lot of weeks where I just literally this is all I do. But today it is going to be a denim assessment day and I am going to pull out every single one of my jeans, categorize them by color and see what I can declutter out of my closet and which ones that I ultimately want to keep for my capsule wardrobe. I have a lot of denim. 
I've accumulated all this denim in the span of like maybe three to four years. I'm going to be decluttering all of that today because I have a very hard time parting with jeans. Hopefully post quarantine, I'm going to get a lot more use out of my denim pieces. I do have a lot. So I want to try on every single one of my jeans to make sure that they fit right. If I have something that I absolutely love and cannot part with, but they just don't work well with my body, I might get them hemmed. I only want to keep the jeans that I know that one that fits me really, really well, two is good quality and three, I will wear frequently. I already have a pair of jeans on my bed right now and <laughs> it's just lonely and waiting for her sisters to arrive. <laughs> anyway, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to the denim. Ignore the pile of clothes here, please. I need to find a home for them. But I keep my denim on, oh, it's focusing on my finger. I'm on the first and second drawer. No, wait, in the middle here. And if you look, it is packed. These are not all denim. Some of them are pants that I have folded and put it in here, but I really need to declutter and give them some breathing room. They are really close next to each other. There's like absolutely no give. So I need to declutter that drawer. And this drawer are all of my shorts and skirts that can be folded up, but they have bled into this section too. So these four are denim as well that I need to work on. So hopefully I will be able to narrow it down so it'll all fit kind of like loosely in one drawer. Okay, I think this is going to be the best angle because if I place you guys anywhere else, it's so backlit because our windows are facing the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put you guys there. Here's Romper saying hi. Hello. Hello. Anyway, how's life, you guys? <laughs> I'm gonna place all the denim color coordinated so you guys can see all the jeans that I have. This is a problem. I am going to be trying on denim for like the next two hours, I swear. Okay, let me show you. Look at this. It's like a freaking denim factory. I did it, you guys. We are finished decluttering the jeans. So this is my keep pile, believe it or not. <laughs> There are still a lot of jeans here, but the thing is I wear denim so, so often that I'm not gonna get rid of jeans just to get rid of them. I thought through every single pair and made sure that everything fit well. If they are too long on me, I have a alteration pile, which I'll show you in just a second, but this is basically all the jeans and pants that I'm going to be keeping color coordinated. These are kind of like miscellaneous colors, white jeans, light blue denim, dark blue denim, gray and black. And I have a lot in the gray and black pile because that is the color that I wear the most. So this pile is my pants pile. So these are corduroy material and these are just like khaki non-denim pants. This is what the final <laughs> keep pile looks like. This is the donate slash resell pile. So I have my colorful, more funky jeans that I like really rarely wear. I'm gonna give those a better home. I literally had the same exact Jamie pant. This, oh my God, it was so funny. I have the exact same pair in my keep pile. So I'm gonna resell that one. I love Topshop jeans. I think they are such a great, a little bit more affordable jeans. And they have a petite version, which I love because it really actually hits ankle length. And I'm getting rid of my Madewell black wide leg pants because I just don't wear it. 
and I keep telling myself that I will be wearing it but I just don't think it looks good on me because I am fairly petite and it just kind of swallows me whole so I'm just going to part with that I have a pair of white denim that I'm getting rid of from Abercrombie because it's just like not really my style anymore some jeggings because I'm not a huge jegging person anymore so these are what I'm getting out of my closet I think I did a pretty decent job honestly I have an alterations pile right here I have my modern bow jeans that I absolutely adore but I just don't get a lot of use out of them because they are slightly too long on me I'm gonna get an inch taken off at the bottom for both of those jeans I have a white one and a beautiful blue one I have two coats under here that I need to get altered as well so Charlie and I are gonna go and get those done I will be posting my resale stuff on Poshmark at some point today or tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my denim, you can go ahead and check out my Poshmark closet. It'll all be there at a really great affordable price. These are stuff that I just like never got a chance to wear and they're all really amazing quality pieces. So I hope someone else can take advantage and love these pieces the way that I couldn't. So <laughs> I will be posting those at some point. I am trying to figure out a way to store my denim in a more smart and organized way. I want them to be able to breathe a little bit and for me to have a better visual representation of what I have. I think they get a little lost in the drawers. So I just don't fully see what I have and then only wear a certain selection of them. Charlie and I are probably going to go to Target to buy some hangers. That's pretty much what we have planned for today. When I first met you then thought you were nothing You were just sitting on the couch with that red jacket We didn't say a word, who would have thought that this would happen? Alright, this is today's outfit. Hopefully you guys can see everything well. As my base layer, I am wearing my Everlane canvas color turtleneck. It's a long sleeve, so it's perfect for layering underneath cardigans and stuff like that. This cardigan is a really lovely tan color. This is by Oak and Fort. I bought it a couple years ago, and I still really, really love it because of this color. It just brings a lot of warmth. My jeans are from Topshop, my all-time favorite Jamie jeans, and I have this specific style of jeans in literally every single color that they make, but these are the gray ones. For my shoes, I'm wearing my Everlane glove knit boot with the little leather uh, panel at the back. I love these so much. They go with literally everything and I have this glove knit boot in several different colors as well. But this is my outfit for the base layers. I'm gonna be wearing a beige oversized long coat over this outfit because it is colder outside. This is my oversized coat from Zara and this coat is amazing for layering because it is so roomy that I can literally put anything under it and it doesn't look too bulky and it matches pretty perfectly with my Everlane shoes. The colors are almost exactly the same so this is basically my outfit. We just came back from Target and we bought a few closet organizational items so this is one of them. It is by the Target brand and it's called Wood Pant Hanger. So I'm actually gonna use this, I think for my skirts and bottoms. So I bought two of these thinking that I'll probably need both. And then I also bought a shelf to organize my jeans and my pants and my sweaters because I really like the aesthetic of like you just putting things like on top, like stacking them on a shelf. So we bought a black one. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. No assembly required, which I love. <laughs> and it's a black color and it has three shelves. It's supposed to be very lightweight and durable. So I'm excited to use this for my jeans. 
Okay, so it really is so easy to assemble. We literally just had to open the little flaps down and yeah, no fasteners, like nothing needed. It's super lightweight. I love how it has like three tiers and it's just a matte black wire frame. Now I'm just going to fold these jeans up and put them and organize them on this little shelf. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so much better. So this is our closet entrance and then this is the new organization for the jeans and pants and I ended up putting my leggings on the left right here, my joggers and then my sweatpants. So these are basically all the pants that I have. Well, mostly. I do have some pants hanging here, the ones that need to have shape like dress pants here that I don't really want to fold. Other than that, these are basically all of my pants and jeans. I'm so glad to have this bin out of there. So it used to be this in there. I love it. I love it so far. I still got a lot of work to do though. Hey guys, I totally forgot to show you guys the complete transformation of the closet because we actually ended up running out back to Target to grab another one of the wire shelving units because it just fits so well in our closet. It helped kind of utilize the space to its maximum potential. So it is all ready now. I used the second one for my knitwear, my hoodies and stuff like that. So I will show you guys the finished look. Here is the finished closet. So as you can see, we have two of these now. The one on the left right here is for my denim and pants all the way down. And then this is the second one that we bought from Target. It's the same one. I have my knit sweaters up at the top, my hoodies, and another row of sweaters. And then I have these two little baskets <laughs> to have like my tights and socks and stuff like that. So I have those two bins down there. And we actually bought these two wire bins as well. This one on the right is Charlie's. This one on the left is mine. It just has like our underwear, my bras, belts, stuff like that. So I thought this would be a really nice way to store them. And it just looks so much cleaner. And I actually ended up taking some of the blazers that were in this closet and moving it to the other closet that we have for outerwear because it was getting a little crammed here since we can't really hang anything up here anymore and i can see everything so clearly so i love that Alrighty guys, that is it for this week's Cozy Diaries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye. You were just sitting on the couch with our jacket. We didn't say a word. Who would have thought that this would